Here are two semicircles. This chord, measuring 12, is parallel to the diameters and tangent to the small semicircle. So what's the area of the shaded region? This is a fantastic geometry question. Give it a shot. Only 4% people will subscribe to me. Are you one of the 4%? How can you express the area of the shaded region? Complicated? No, easy. The only thing which is complicated is that only one condition is given. This chord measures 12. And that's not the diameter. So, complicated. If we don't know the diameters, if we don't know the radii, we can suppose. We can suppose that the radius of the big semicircle is capital R, and the radius of the small semicircle is small r. The area of the shaded region should be expressed by capital R and small r. Hmm. It is only the subtraction of the area of the big semicircle and the area of the small semicircle. We only have to evaluate the areas of these two semicircles. Then, a semicircle is half of a circle. So the area of a semicircle is 1 over 2 times pi then times radius squared. Here is the area of the big semicircle. Subtract the area of the small semicircle. And the area of the small semicircle, but in the same way, a half times pi then times the small radius squared. Now what we can do is to take out a 1 over 2 times pi. In the bracket, it is capital R squared, the radius of the semicircle squared, the radius of the big semicircle squared, minus small r squared, the radius of the small semicircle squared. Let's analyze this term, 1 over 2 times pi. It is a constant. So we don't have to care about this section. We only have to care about r squared minus small r squared. So what's its value? We should evaluate this part. This term is the only thing that we should cope with. Capital R squared minus small r squared. My dear, we didn't do anything on our figure. So now, please construct the radii. But, however, yet, how shall we find them? There are unlimited radii. Which two radii shall we use or shall we construct? The most important ones. For constructing the radius of the big semicircle, we should first find its center. Where is center? I found it, it's here. Here is the center of the big semicircle. Now, firstly, find the big R, the capital R, the radius of the big semicircle. A chord has two endpoints, and these two endpoints are on the circle. Okay, we have two points here. It's up to you. Which one? Do you prefer? I prefer this one. Then, connect or center to this point. Then, we know that this piece, this radius, is the capital R. Then, we shall find capital R squared minus small r squared. And where is the small r? Focus. Construct the perpendicular of our chord from our center, from this point. So here is actually a right angle. Hopefully you can see it. It's kind of small. How long does this piece measure? Hmm, I'm gonna say it's 
the small r. Why? Here is the tangent and here is the center of the small semicircle. Then connect the center with the tangent point. This is the tangent point. This is the center. I'm going to say here is also a right angle. Why? Because we have a theorem. Note. Core is parallel to our diameter. And these two angles are both right angles. So, this green piece, which is really equal to R, is equal to the red piece. Therefore, this red piece also measures R. So here is a right triangle. We have known its two sides. So, we only lack its third side from here to here. From here to here, how long does it measure? Because here is the center of our big semicircle. This red line segment is the perpendicular of the chord. So, it is also the perpendicular bisector of this chord. So from here to here, it measures 6. Congratulations! Because these two pieces have the same length. This red line segment is the perpendicular bisector of our chord. So now, all the three sides of this right triangle have been solved. Then, we only lack this term. Okay, then focus and evaluate. By the Pythagorean theorem, we have... I'm gonna write here, okay? We have r squared plus 6 squared equals hypotenuse capital R squared. How shall we solve it? We need this term, so what shall we do? We should subtract R squared from the both sides. Therefore, we will get the left hand side is 6 squared and the right hand side is capital R squared minus small r squared. And that's all this term. It is equal to 6 squared, and 6 squared is 6 times 6. 6 times 6 is 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6 equals 36. So this is 36. And substitute 36 for capital R squared minus small r squared. So our answer is coming. It is 1 over 2 times pi, then times 36. 1 over 2 times 36 is 18. So the answer is... Eighteen pi. Do you get it? Subscribe to me for more videos. Give a thumbs up for this planet question. And we'll see you next time.